Hey and welcome to Never Into With Our Guns. So part three of the Roth Valley Battle Pass is now live. Unfortunately, that means those of us who don't have the Battle Pass can no longer make any progress on the previous parts. So for example, in the second part, Upper Crest, I only got to like 825 points. Yeah, I haven't played much. And now I can no longer gain any more XP for the either of those previous parts, part one and part two, I will now start obtaining XP for the third part. As you can see, we just completed Castle's Retreat, a short skirmish, and it gave us 115 of that XP. Now it's very easy to progress through these entire parts. As you can see, it will only take you just over 12 days if you do each of the three tasks. You can see doing the random skirmish or trials, 115, random dungeon, 135, and the heroic encounter 75 and it should be very doable by newer players since you only have to do the skirmish queue and the dungeon queue and those are generally pretty easy content throughout there maybe one or two of the dungeons is a little bit more challenging for example Fanbreaker island there and a skirmish queue would probably take you five minutes very easy and as for the heroic encounter, well, you're going to have to head to your Roth Valley, which you can very simply unlock by progressing through the adventure Roth Valley. You need 40,000 item level, though, to access that at this point. And once here, you can see on the map, these are the heroic encounters. These, these big icons, you'll get one that will also spawn, I believe, up here. And so this third part is going to give us a bunch of rewards and actually very nicely, a coalescent moat if you manage to get to the maximum progress, which I would highly recommend. Again, only just over 12 days of actually playing the game. And this is going to be building up to module 24. And you can see otherwise you're getting a bunch of upgrade tokens. 25 is pretty generous. Just some keys and an astral lockbox, whatever. That's all free. As for the paid rewards, you're getting 10 greater shards. Now, their value is about 88,000. So that right there, 10 of those is 800,000 astral diamonds. Another 25 upgrade tokens, four keys and the mount. Now, the big benefit of buying the premium pass is that you can complete all of the parts of the battle pass at once. So even if I haven't done much progress on these previous parts, I'll be able to complete them all while I complete this third part, meaning I could collect all the rewards by just spending 2,500 Zen, which can be reduced by a coupon with these packs. You're going to need a coupon that would give you, let's say, 20% off everything. Here we go. We, we got it. And now you can see it's only going to cost us 2,000 Zen. So that's a decent deal, all things considered. However, for me, the rewards on the paid track are very underwhelming. Yes, you're getting a coal moat and include the other rewards you're getting with that. And you probably do pay back the cost of 2000 Zen, but only just. And I'm not going to use this mount. I'm not going to use this companion and this artifact set pack. I already have two of the items in there and the legendary artifact sets are just pretty garbage. I've made a video going over that specifically. You can check that if you want. That was going over part two of the battle path. And part three doesn't add anything much that's new except that panda mount, which is purely cosmetic. If it was account wide mythic, I'd probably get it just for the bolster. But at this point, I nearly have 10 account wide mythic mounts. So really not for me anymore. Otherwise, the most unique thing in this battle pass, at least in my opinion, is this Dragonfire gadget. And the problem with it is it's only really good within AoE fights. And there's not many AoE fights where your damage really matters. Sure, you can be trying to chase the top of a pain giver board in, let's say, the newest dungeon. But I think the Wondrous Duhiki does just as good a job, if not better, by what people have been saying. So I don't think I'm going to buy this at all. You may as well just save your Zen and we'll see what happens with the next battle passes. That's already coming out just as this one ends. We can see on the preview server here that on November the 29th, we're getting the North Dark Divided Battle Pass. So personally, I'm just going to save my Zen for that and hope it gets better rewards. Otherwise, I'm going to try do my daily random cues and 
get that free coal moat as that's definitely worth a bit of a grind a bit of random cues which will also benefit me through these rough astral diamonds which you can refine a maximum of a hundred thousand per day ultimately if i do all the tasks i'll only need to spend about 12 days of playing that's less than freaking two weeks easy and you'll gain your coal moat at the end of it well worth it on top of of course all that rough ad you're getting so with that said, I'm personally not buying the premium pass. I don't see the point in it. There's nothing really exclusive that is going to help in character progression in terms of gaining extra power, damage, etc. So with that said, I'd like to give a special thank you again to all of these channel members for their continued support. And again, if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.